The successful catch of a super heavy booster marked a historic milestone for SpaceX, but it's just one piece of an incredibly ambitious puzzle. While this achievement had the space community cheering, Elon Musk and his team are already focused on the next critical challenges that will transform Starship from a revolutionary prototype into humanity's first truly reusable interplanetary spacecraft. From mastering the complex dance of in-space engine relights to perfecting the delicate art of orbital refueling, SpaceX's roadmap is filled with groundbreaking engineering challenges that push the boundaries of what's possible. The upcoming flights 6 and 7 aren't just test launches. They're crucial stepping stones toward a future where Starship could deploy massive Starlink satellites, land cargo on Mars, and ultimately help establish the first human settlement beyond Earth. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we track the latest developments in humanity's journey to the stars. Let's dive right in. The next major milestone for SpaceX centers on a capability that's crucial yet incredibly complex, in-space engine relights. During Starship's third test flight, the team had originally planned to demonstrate this critical maneuver, but the attempt was postponed due to stability concerns during re-entry. While flights four and five focused on other objectives, the ability to restart Starship's engines in the vacuum of space remains a fundamental requirement for SpaceX's ambitious plans. This capability isn't just about technical achievement, it's about unlocking Starship's full potential. Picture a spacecraft that can execute precise orbital maneuvers, dock with other vehicles, and perform emergency course corrections with the reliability of a commercial airliner. That's exactly what SpaceX aims to demonstrate in Flight 6 and 7. The groundwork for this breakthrough is already being laid. At their Texas facility, SpaceX recently conducted an impressive demonstration, relighting 34 Raptor engines within a 10-minute window. This achievement on the ground sets the stage for the upcoming orbital tests, where success could accelerate SpaceX's timeline for launching enhanced Starlink satellites, potentially as early as mid-2025. The hardware preparations are already in motion. Ship 31, designated as the upper stage for Flight 6, is undergoing final checks while Booster 13 has arrived at the launch site for static fire testing. Current indicators suggest a November launch window is feasible, pending regulatory approval. But the path forward involves more than just engine relights. SpaceX faces a fascinating engineering challenge with landing operations. While we've witnessed Ship 30's impressive precision during Flight 5's ocean landing, bringing Starship back to solid ground presents unique challenges. Unlike the Super Heavy Booster, which can be either caught or redirected to the ocean, Starship's landing strategy requires absolute precision. There's no room for error. Industry sources suggest SpaceX is exploring an innovative intermediate step, conducting initial landings on remote Pacific atolls. The Johnson Atoll has emerged as a potential candidate, offering a controlled environment for perfecting landing procedures before attempting catches at the primary Texas facility. This approach highlights a critical design challenge. Starship currently lacks landing legs, which are essential not just for Earth returns, but for future lunar and Martian operations. SpaceX faces a strategic decision, whether to fast-track landing leg development or focus on perfecting the catching mechanism in South Texas. Perhaps the most ambitious phase of SpaceX's near-term plans involves orbital refueling, a capability they must demonstrate by fall 2025 to support NASA's lunar missions. This intricate dance requires launching two starships, a target vehicle waiting in low Earth orbit and a chaser vehicle carrying the precious cargo of cryogenic fuel. The complexity of this operation cannot be overstated. It requires constructing a second launch tower in Texas, developing sophisticated docking mechanisms and creating new navigation systems. SpaceX engineers are working round the clock on quick disconnect fuel transfer systems, and high-precision maneuvering thrusters essential for this delicate operation. Internal sources indicate SpaceX is targeting early testing of these capabilities next year, though multiple attempts may be needed to perfect the process. The stakes are incredibly high. Successful orbital refueling is the keystone for deep space missions, including NASA's Artemis program. Elon Musk recently shared an ambitious vision on social media good chance that Starship achieves full-stack reusability in 2025, 
critical breakthrough needed to make life multiplanetary. While this timeline might seem aggressive, especially for the upper stage, SpaceX's track record of turning ambitious goals into reality demands attention. The lunar variant of Starship presents its own unique set of challenges. The spacecraft must demonstrate the ability to operate independently for up to 100 days while awaiting Orion's crew vehicle. This requires maintaining extremely low temperatures for liquid propellants and ensuring all systems remain stable during extended periods in space, engineering challenges that have contributed to a three-year delay from initial targets. NASA and SpaceX are collaborating closely on these developments, combining traditional aerospace expertise with commercial innovation. The spacecraft must master autonomous operations, maintaining life support systems, and executing complex maneuvers without direct human intervention. This requires sophisticated control algorithms and redundant computer systems tested to unprecedented reliability standards. By mid-2027, Starship faces perhaps its greatest test, an uncrewed lunar landing followed by successful return to orbit. The landing site requirements are extraordinarily precise. The lunar surface must have a slope of no more than one to two degrees to ensure stability. The mission will also verify critical systems like the cargo transfer elevator, essential for future crewed missions to the lunar surface. Perhaps the most daunting challenge facing SpaceX's lunar ambitions lies in the launch sequence itself. Unlike the Apollo missions, which used hypergolic propellants stable at room temperature, Starship relies on methane and liquid oxygen, requiring precise temperature control even in the harsh lunar environment. With no launch infrastructure on the moon's surface, every system must perform flawlessly for a successful takeoff. This unprecedented combination of challenges, from catching rockets to refueling in orbit, from automated systems to lunar launches, represents more than just technical hurdles. It's about transforming humanity's approach to space travel, making it as routine as air travel is today. While NASA's timeline suggests a crewed lunar landing by 2028, the real breakthrough will be establishing the systems and processes that make such missions sustainable and repeatable. As we track these developments at Elon Musk 24 hours, we're witnessing history in the making. Each test flight, each technical achievement, brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. If you're as excited as we are about this journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of space enthusiasts. Share your thoughts on SpaceX's timeline in the comments below. Do you think we'll see a fully reusable Starship by 2025? Don't forget to like this video and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest developments in space technology. Thanks for joining us today on this exploration of SpaceX's next big challenges. See you in the next video.